3. Close Packing of Spheres The Hexagonal Lattice When you ask your friend to fill up her room with ping-pong balls, you get surprised to see that, she, being a more artistic person than you are, is doing it in a totally different way. She starts arranging the ping-pong balls on the floor in a hexagonal pattern. In her arrangement, each ball has exactly six other neighbor balls in the plane, that fit perfectly relative to each other. For the second layer, as we have seen with the square arrangement before, the balls are placed in the nests formed by a cluster of three balls from the first plane. In this case, the planes are closer packed than in the square arrangement. But a ball placed in a nest formed by a cluster of three balls does not sink as deep as a ball placed in a nest of a cluster formed by four balls, as we have seen in the square arrangement. The third plane follows a similar arrangement as the second plane. As seen previously in the square arrangement, again each ball in the hexagonal arrangement also has exactly 12 neighbors in space, 3 balls in the plane below, 6 balls in the same plane and 3 balls in the plane above. A closer examination of the square and hexagonal arrangements used by you and your friend to fill up the room with ping pong balls, reveals that they are in fact the same arrangement. One can see that with a simple rotation the first arrangement becomes the second. This way of packing spheres to fill up the 3D space is called the close packing of spheres. It has been proven that if one is asked to fit as many ping pong balls as possible in a given space, this is the best arrangement possible. The laws of the universe are such that everything is done in the best way possible. This should be a good enough argument for us to consider close packing of spheres, when explaining the nature of space, the composition of matter, or when attempting to design spatial structures. This principle is the foundation of the platonic structures. Beauty makes beautiful thing beautiful.